Hello there, my name is Henry Parker and I'm going to give you a guitar lesson on how to play Dick Gocken's Now Whistling Winds, his uh, fantastic arrangement of the Robert Burns poem and um, it's a bit of a folk classic really. I'm going to start off by just playing the intro and singing the first verse and then I'll slow things down and explain a few of the shapes. I hope this helps. Slim winds and slaughtering guns Bring autumn's pleasant weather Mark up springs onward winds Among bloom and heather Now we've ingrained wild or the plain it's the weary found The moon shines bright as I rove at night Muse upon my charm There we go. I do have um, a playthrough of the full video from a couple of years back elsewhere on my channel, so you can have a look at that. Anyway, I'll dive right in and break this down as best as I can, it is quite complex. First of all, we're in dadgad tuning. D A D G A D. When I talk about string names, however, I'll use the standard tuning names. So I'll, I'll still be calling, for instance, this the B string and this the high E string. Uh, I'm on capo third fret as well, of course. Okay, so the intro then. Starting off on fifth fret low E and fifth fret G, I use my middle and third fingers. This is going to swap. Uh, you're going to swap out your third finger for your first finger on fourth fret, and then we're going to go to an open D shape, set first finger, second fret G string, which is going to lead into a hammer on and pull off. Let me just play this really slow. as well I'm going to fourth fret D string. Let me break that down and just say which uh, strings I'm playing. E D G E E D G B E D G hammer on and pull off D D G B E play one more time. Round, I think it's four times, and on the last one of those, after the hammer and pull off, you would play this shape. And this is starting you off into the verse. This shape is first finger, second fret G, and third finger, fourth fret low E. So I'm just going to go through the four shapes that are used in the verse. This is one of them. Like I say, first finger, second fret G string. 3rd finger, 4th fret, low E, and I'm going to call that F sharp minor, um, based on the F sharp that's down there, and the, the A. Um, so it's close enough, F sharp minor. Going to G, <clears throat> which is little finger, 5th fret, low E, 1st finger, 2nd fret, G, 2nd fret, B, sorry. The next chord is A5, middle finger 2nd fret D string, 3rd finger 2nd fret G string, and lastly the D5 that I mentioned earlier, 1st finger 2nd fret G string. So let me go through all those again, F sharp minor, excuse my fret, G, A5, and D5. So that hammer-on that gets used in the intro, that's also used in the verse. And there's also another hammer-on, just a string lower, so on the D and A string, 
almost exactly the same. What I'm going to do is play the verse and play it as slow as possible. And I will sing with it so you know where you are in the song. So um, I hope I can pull this off. I'm going to play and sing as slow as possible. I'll do one round of the intro to show you how you lead into the verse with this F sharp minor. thing I guess is on the G chord we're doing these hammer-ons and pull-offs, quick pull-offs for the most part. First finger doing a pull-off there. Uh, there is one section, I think it's the now wave and grain, wild over the plane. Where you're kind of you know hammering on and pulling off. The strings I'm picking in between the hammer-on and pull-off, so you do a pinch for the hammer-on and pull-off. And then I'm going D, E, B, D, E, B, D, E, B. Hopefully you can pick up what my right hand is doing. It's too complex to go through all and say exactly which string. A lot of it is just ascending patterns like that. Thumb, thumb, index, middle. This has been of use. I'm going to leave it there. Please feel free to email me if you've got any questions. Um, the reason I've done this video is because lots of people have emailed me in the past wanting to know how I played this. I just <laughs> watched a video of him playing it and uh, repeatedly over and over again. It took me a long time. Hopefully, this has cleared it up somewhat. And um, thank you very much for tuning in. I create my own music so if you would like to look at that and have a listen that would be fantastic it's on my band's camp and if you would like to make a little donation if this has helped you out that would also be fantastic and um yeah stay in touch and let me know if you cover this song i'd love to hear you doing it thank you